How you doing everybody? Shooter Rugi, aka Weapon Snatcher, out here in Childress, Texas. Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike the Great from Instagram. We're out here at the Whip Machine shooting range. We're out today. We're working with Jigsaw, Helix 6, Huskamau. We're going to compare a high dollar gun to a low dollar gun chamber for a 6mm arc. Hey, we're going to be shooting from the 300, the 700, the 900, and tomorrow we'll be shooting from the 1000 all the way out to a mile. To see which one's doing better than the other. So let's go ahead and let's get banging. Yeah. Hi, my name's Roper Gunner. Um, yesterday we came out here with the Jigsaw guys and took their uh, Reaper and six millimeter arc. Uh, we started at 300, then we moved to 1,000 within the first two shots. Some of us even had first round impacts on the target at 1,000. Once again, got behind the Reaper and uh, within two shots, they both were hitting constantly three, four, five impacts in a row at a thousand. Hi, I'm Paige. <laughs> Now you see it. What? No impact. Misses, yeah. And that's the deal. I mean, you may not be focused in 100% on them, but you'll see that dirt. And that's how we make... That's how you make your adjustments. That's how we make adjustments, and that's how we win. Because the people that don't see their misses are never hit a target. I'm definitely getting more into long range, but I came to this just having kind of a blank slate. You know, a lot of these guys are very experienced with long range. They have the setup that they like. And it's the same thing with the pistol world is that you gotta get whatever works for you. Day two, get out here, crack a dawn. We're at a mile now and with some elevation actually from measuring it, we're about 50 to 60 feet above where our target is at a mile. Two rifles, one high dollar, one a little lower, both same caliber, seeing how they're doing at a mile distance. One reason why we got here, out here so early is winds. Winds is in the morning, they start getting picked up, so we wanted to get out here before that. We had a little help from a prism mounted into the front of the gun, so it gives us more travel in our optics so that we don't have to dial nearly as much, or if we take all the travel out of our optics, then we have to hold over in our reticles. That's what the prism does for us. The uh, Husqvarna optics, 12, anywhere between 12 to 18 minutes off the left edge of the plate, depending on the wind. And we're watching these rounds impact on a white piece of steel down there. I think it's about 36 inch by 36 inch. The amazing thing is when you think about it, are right, you taking a six millimeter arc, it's a tiny round. It doesn't have as much backing and powder as some of the bigger rounds do, but it's still able to get out there and slap a piece of steel Impact. enough where we're seeing it on our spotter scopes. Dead center. That's two in a row. Good. But I'm moving the whole time. Better. Dead center. Good job, girl. I was able to shoot a freaking mile with both firearms, the less expensive jigsaw and then the more expensive rifle, and I was able to do it consistently on both. The fact that I was able to shoot a mile with both is my conclusion. Not, it, you don't need to spend four or five grand on a gun to say that you're a good shot. It's whatever works for you. It's been an excellent morning of shooting and I'm gonna get back at it. 